There we go. How you guys doing today? Um, as you can see, I'm trying to get this equipment taken care of because I just want to spend all this money on this equipment so that, you know, the videos will turn out a little better. And I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do know I need to adjust this mic. Mic check. Okay, that sounds better. Let me know if you guys can hear me. But anyway, um, I wanted to come on here and kind of reintroduce myself because I felt like for the past two and a half, three years, I've been living under the concept of just a trucker. And a lot of people actually that goes through the chain game, a quote unquote, of being a truck driver, oftentimes get mislabeled as just being a trucker. You guys, we are way or so much more than just being a truck driver. Um, I know we're always on the road. We're always gone. So it might feel like we don't have a life outside of the truck. But you guys trust me when I say that there's a lot more to Trucker CB than driving a truck. And you guys are going to start getting to know me. And um, I told you guys that we're going to switch things up a little bit. Um, I mean, this is where we're at now. And I appreciate all the supporters for continuing to continuing to support this channel even when this channel haven't been um, putting out content and uh, I will place blame on myself because for the past three months I've been on and off with uh, my health conditions and everything and mainly because I'm sitting in a freaking truck so now what we're going to do we're going to regroup and we're going to get this show rolling um, I'm in the midst of getting the basement done uh, making a full studio in the basement and uh, getting everything situated. So you guys just bear with me. Just bear with me. And I'll be right back in a moment. Come back, you guys. So today's topic is going to be why it is better in your 30s rather than your 20s. I'm currently 33 right now. And that's how old I am. And I felt like when I was in my 20s, a lot of people used the term, um, you know, your 20s is the best times of your life or whatever. So I was literally terrified to leave my freaking 20s because I'm thinking the 30s is going to be worse. Like, I'm just getting old, just getting old. Like, who wants to get old? Like, not me. So the reason why I'm doing 20 versus the 30s is because I genuinely feel like my 30s is the best times of my life this is the time where like i'm just vibing with myself i'm literally finding out who i am what i need to do at all times how to be a better father and when i was in my 20s dude i, I messed up so bad i still haven't seen my son in about three years that's from being in my 20s so i think when you're in your 20s it's like you're just prone to mess stuff a lot like it's just the way it is that's where you're getting all the excitement out of your body and trying to really figure out who you are so if we have some 20 year olds in um, in attendance today i want to hear you guys' perspective how do you guys feel about entering or leaving your teens and entering into your 20s and how do you feel about leaving your 20s and going into your 30s let's hear let's talk about it but one of the things I can honestly say about my 20s is I had a I made a lot of mistakes, like no cap. A few of the mistakes that I made was obviously hanging around with the wrong crowd. We all go through that. And this is why being in your 30s is so much more better, in my opinion, is because when you're in your 30s, that's not an excuse that you can use anymore. Like, you can't use that as an excuse. Oh, well, the people that I hang around are just bad people, so it rubs off on me. No, that doesn't work at all. You guys, give me a mic check. Hold on, give me a mic check. Am I good? All right. But yeah, you can't use that excuse anymore. That's not a freaking excuse you can use. And um, it's, I was talking to a guy at the gym today. I've been working out trying to get my stomach body fat down and I've been doing a lot of workouts, but um, I was talking to a guy I grew, I grew up and went to school with and we were talking about, um, you know, him having a, he, he, don't, he doesn't have any kids or anything and he's out on his own and he, he runs his own roofing company. And I, 
I haven't talked to this guy in about 15 years, so I didn't know who he was at first. Anyway, we t we're talking, we're sitting there chopping it up, and he he tells me he's like, yeah, this guy that you know we went to school with, his name is Cody something. I can't remember his last name. He asked he asked the guy that I knew that I went to school with if he could bring him in as a partner to his roofing company that he owns. He owns 100% of this company. And I told him no, because the sign number one is he still stays at home. Now, what does this have to do with the discussion? I'll tell you. So if we're in our mid thirties, there's no reason why a 33, 34 year old man should be staying at home. That means there's a reason why he's he's at his mom's house. Either he was on drugs, either he he just getting out of jail, need to get back on his feet, or he just having problems in life, not holding a job, or he's just not being a responsible adult. So it has a lot to do with 20 versus 30, because when you're in your 20s, that's a little bit more acceptable to society. But I feel like as soon as you get in your 30s, like that 30, and then you hit 31, that's it. Your society doesn't feel for you no more. So, I mean, for what it's worth, there's benefits for both of them, I guess. There's benefits for being 20s, and there, then there's benefits for being in your 30s. So, um, just a little fun topic we can discuss today, because I'm telling you guys, I'm done with the trucking videos. I know you guys want me to keep making them, but listen. We have to get out of that. We have to branch out. In order to grow with the rest of the people and evolve into something special, we got to go. So I hope you guys join me there. This was a fun topic for today, I feel like. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And you guys can always, uh, you know, down in the comment section, you know, give me ideas on what kind of videos you want to see from me. I don't have any problem with making them. Um, so just keep keep on, you know, supporting this channel and hopefully we grow to something amazing and I uh, hope everyone be safe out there. Peace.